Let's learn about CAG 2.1 Success Criterion 2.4.3 Focus Order. This criterion requires that the focus order of interactive elements on a web page follows a logical sequence that is consistent with the meaning and functionality of the content. This ensures that users who navigate the page using a keyboard or other assistive technology can do so in a logical and meaningful way. To implement Success Criterion 2.4.3 in code, here are some examples of best practices. Use the tab index attribute. The tab index attribute is used to specify the order in which interactive elements receive focus when a user navigates the page using the keyboard. The tab index value should be set to a logical and consistent sequence that reflects the order in which the elements appear on the page. Use the autofocus attribute. The autofocus attribute is used to specify which element on the page should receive focus when the page first loads. This should be the most important or relevant element on the page. Use the correct HTML structure. The HTML structure of the page should be logical and consistent with the meaning and functionality of the content. For example, navigation menus should be structured as a list of links and form fields should be structured with appropriate labels and input elements. Here's an example of how to use the tab index attribute in HTML in this example. The HTML code includes a navigation menu in a form. The tab index attribute is used to specify the order in which interactive elements receive focus when a user navigates the page using the keyboard. The autofocus attribute is used to specify that the first form field, name, should receive focus when the page first loads. The HTML structure of the page is also logical and consistent with the meaning and functionality of the content. These examples meet success criterion 2.4.3 by ensuring that the focus order of interactive elements on the web page follows a logical and consistent sequence that is consistent with the meaning and functionality of the content.